What's up, everybody? Jason here from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just filled up 2020 Tops Tier 1 Baseball 12 box case break. Picker teams number 18. And again, you get some really nice stuff. Delivers two autograph cards and one relic per box, and each case guarantees a one a guarantees one rare Tier 1 autograph card. So here you go. All teams about straight up. There's no fillers here. And uh, last ball mojo, actually. I don't know why you don't have last ball mojo, David. Your little real star right there. Reds versus last team right there. There you Autograph right here at the top. Forget that these ones are just right. Shown right away. Now we got Bernie Williams to 80 to start us off for the Yankees. Last teams in Pfizer are putting an RMB. Yep. That's what I figured would happen, right? We got a relic here, Chris Sale. Be able to top load everything. Fernando Tatis Jr. A little chip here in the corner, but other than that, it's pretty strong. Padres, it's going to Nick. Patrick Corbin. 
the Washington Nationals. Chris Walker with that one. All right, first box. Let's go to the next one. AJ Puck for the A's. Going to Oliver. And Sean Anderson for the Giants, the 299. Richard with that one. And AJ Puck, again, this time autograph. Six out of sixty. Next box. Uh, two autographs: Bernie Williams, Patrick Corbin. But yeah, if you missed the first one, was Bernie Williams. Nice little patch of Joey Votto. 25. Cincinnati Reds going to David Chan, which was last spot mojo. Chris Paddock for the Padres. That is going to Nick. And Reese Hoskins, 32 out of 100. Philadelphia Phillies going to Kyle. Next box. Nick Senzel for the Reds. Yu Chang, rookie for the Cleveland Indians. Chris Walker. Ooh, look at that. How about a little Ronald Acuna Jr.? Didn't really have himself the best NLCS series batting average, but Braves did make it there. And I'm sure they'll be back soon in contention in the future years. There you go, Matt with the Braves. And actually, let me flip this. This is not a rookie card, but it's all we have for 75s right now. Very nice. Next one. Dustin May to once uh, 395. For the St. Louis Cardinals, Jack with that one, Jack Flattery. Aaron Hicks. To 299 for the Yankees. And a Mark McGuire, 17 out of 25. Or sorry, 7 out of 25. Same those Cardinals. It's going to Jack.
All right. Halfway through, guys, after this box. Carl Yastrzemski, the Boston Red Sox. It's been a Matt L. And Aaron Nola. A couple of white chips on the corners there. Phillies. It's going to Kyle. Taylor Ward. Aaron Pettit, the Angels. And Brandon McKay, rookie, to two ninety nine for the Rays. And the Tom Jones. All right, halfway through, guys. We got Aaron Judge. John Means to two ninety nine. And Victor Robles to two ninety nine. Washington, going to Chris. Christian Yelich. That's right, Rex. Maybe something big right now. Raleigh Fingers. Joe's arch nemesis. A nemesis. Didn't want to sign for him at the National the first year we went. <laughs> Joe's like, hey, can I get an autograph? He's like, no. <laughs> was so funny. Joe was devastated that day. And ever since then. Hates Raleigh Fingers. Zach Wheeler. Mets. Rich with that one. Four left. Chris Paddock. Luis Arias. That is for the Minnesota Twins. Conrad with that one. And we got a little Gavin Lux. Very nice. 13 out of 299. Can't believe it, Rex. You thought, you thought it was, they were just going to choke again? Alright, so Matt Viber with the Dodgers.
NC Arte for the Braves. Mike Yastrzemski. Paul DeJong. And a third autograph, Cecil Fielder for Detroit. It's a little bonus auto for you guys. I don't know, Mike. I mean, do, are people going to see it that way? The one thing I will give it to the winner, though, whoever wins, the fact is that both teams went to game seven and played in seven straight days, right? Every game was like all straight, which that wouldn't usually happen. So it kind of made you really rely on your bullpen. And even though maybe people don't think that baseball can be tiring, I mean, mentally too. Seven straight, you don't even get a day off. So I think they made it pretty, pretty fair. Pretty fair. And yeah, I know why you said that. I remember he said that it was kind of an exhibition season, but I'm sure he was just saying that because he didn't know if the Dodgers were going to win or not. <laughs> but, I mean, I don't know. I would still count it, regardless. You know, because, I mean, like I said, everybody agreed to it. It's not like nobody said, no, we don't want to do this. And there was still at least, what, 50 plus games? Michael Brosell. Like I said, the playoffs I think were pretty designed pretty fairly. Three game series, five game series, seven game series, and then World Series. Shane Bieber. Alright, last box, guys. Well, if, the, like, the Houston Astros somehow would have went and they would have won Rex, I mean, that would have been a summary of 2020 right there. And probably, probably, like, rioting, honestly. But the fact is that didn't happen, which was pretty good. I right, we have a redemption. Little Jeff McNeil. Yuli Juriel for Houston. Going to Matthew. Alright, and the last one is a redemption, guys. Good luck. Ooh, it's a dual autograph of Carter Keyboom which is Washington Nationals. And Juan Soto, who is also a national. Wow, there you go. Redemption, dual autograph, Carter Keyboom, and Juan Soto. That is going to Chris Walker and the Washington Nationals. There you go. Very nice. And just like that, guys, that was a 12-box case break of Tier 1 Baseball. All the hits being top loaded here for you guys. Very nice Ronald Acuna in the beginning that we got, which was pretty nice. And a Tatis relic in there too. There you go, that one right there at 25 was pretty awesome. So I appreciate it guys. Five stars really close and I think it's an RMB and it might be filled up now guys. Jazbeescasebreaks.com